Drawing reactions are very important and in this lecture we are going to demonstrate how to draw reactions. So to draw reactions you just have to have your product side or your reactor side and your product side. So let's begin by just drawing this. Let's take our simple chain tool. Now, usually you have an arrow for reaction. So to do that, you just have to go to the arrow toolbar, which is this and tear it down and you can select an arrow for reaction. So usually the third one is used, and, but you can choose whichever one that you need as well. And you can just come in and select it and head over here and drag it along so you have this now you can also add you can also add some stuff here as we do in normal chemistry so you can come to the text box and just type your for instance OH and there you have it okay so now you have this now if you want to add maybe a charge to this OH all you have to do is go to the chemical symbol tool palette so that is this one that's our chemical symbol and you can tear it down so this is our chemical symbol and you can add a charge so you can add a, um, a positive charge or a negative charge and also for your reactant you can also use this so we want to add a negative charge so you select this and you put it on here so you see when we did the oh it was red it means it was not complete until we added the negative charge to it so that's how you draw reactant so this is your reactant however if you have like previously the one that we did you can also have your plus sign and your minus sign as well so that could be if you have different reactants over here but we're just demonstrating this one so let's let's also draw a product Now, after you've drawn your reactions, you may also want to clean it up. So you can use the clean it up reaction command under the structure menu. So when you use the clean up reaction command, the spacing between the reaction components is modified. The components are evenly distributed. Plus sign is inserted wherever necessary and the length of the arrow is adjusted. So let's say and once you have a reactant, you can see that it changes. So you, you can see um, that everything changes as well. So let's let's try to clean this up. So all you have to do is just select everything and head over to structure and head over to clean up reaction. So it gives you the best way or the best approach of displaying your reaction. And if for some reason, let's say you had a long product or maybe a long reaction, it will arrange it well to fit the page. So that is also something cool to have. Now the reaction interpreter is also a cool tool for us. So it helps us to pass reaction as drawn and breaks the reaction into the following distinct component so you can have reaction scheme reaction steps reactant product and conditions 
so it uses kind of colors to show us what it means when you bring your mouse to the arrow so your reaction is red your product is magenta and then everything above the reaction arrow is also this color and it helps you to create what you have if you don't have it you can also just select it okay you can go to view and then you go go to show chemical and when you bring it to you can go to show chemical interpretation and when you just select on the on the arrow it gives you the interpretation so that is something also cool to note so the last thing i want to show is electron and radical push. so to do that let's just draw our regular benzene which has become our friend now So when you come to the chemical symbol and you want to do electron or radical pushing, which is a common practice when illustrating organic reaction mechanism. Now ChemDraw provides the electron pushing and radical pushing tools for illustrating electron transfer. Now electron transfers can be drawn between atoms, bonds and orbitals. Now to display this, you just have to come to the electron pushing tool. So when you come to the side, you see the electron pushing tool and radical pushing tool. So you can, let's say, select the electron pushing and just come to your electron and you have it as, as you show. And you can also add let's say lone pairs to demonstrate that you have some electrons that you're pushing around 